is another Thursday. Psalm 18, verse 17. Psalm 18, verse 17. A. He rescues me from my strong enemy. I decree the Lord of hosts will rescue us from our strong enemies and from those who hate us. He will fight and win our battles for us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We continue with our series, A Case for Jesus. This is part six. Part six. The subtitle for this one is The Strong Man. The Strong Man. You know, I'm taking my text from Mark 5 4. Mark 5 4. Kindly read Mark 5 1 to 20. Mark 5 1 to 20. Part 1 to 5 is on my social media channels. Let's take Mark 5 4. Because he had often brown with shackles and chains, and the chains have been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces, neither could anyone tame him. This is the story of the Catharine demoniac. We continue. Number one. Luke 11, 21-22. Luke 11, 21-22. It speaks of a strong man keeping his goods safe. A strong man keeping his goods safe. Until a stronger man comes upon him. Now the strong man is the devil. The stronger man is Jesus. The goods are people. Human race, our health, our peace, our joy, our freedom stolen by the enemy. You listen to this video to the end, you will gain a lot. Number two, the gathering demoniac had a strong man holding him captive. It was this strong man that spoke saying his name is Legion because there are many. So he was the chief demon. Amongst the many demons that have demons that have occupied this man. Now, the strong man is the chief demon, the Goliath, or a strong situation that holds people captive, just like this man, the Galatic demonic. Therefore, or hence, no one could restrain him. His situation was beyond natural or medical remedy. Number three. Psalm 18, verse 17. Psalm 18, verse 17. David says, God rescued him from his strong enemies. In other words, he was rescued from the strong man, from situations that were stronger or st are stronger than his natural abilities. Okay? His strength, human strength, his human strength could not cope with those situations. They were stronger than him. So he said or pray that God has rescued him from his strong enemies. Now, number four, or it should be, if you are addicted, strongly addicted to drugs, sex, pornography, or there is a painful area of your life or situation in your life and You've done everything. It can be your marriage. It can be your health and your finances. And you have been unsuccessful in conquering this situation. Never mind everything you have tried, you are dealing with a strong man. I say it again. If there's a situation in your life, difficult, hard, addictions, something that is overwhelming you, you are not only person in control of, and you have done everything to see it go, you don't like it, you are dealing with a strong man, an enemy stronger than you. Your peace or joy in that area is in the hands of the strong man. Medical science or natural ability cannot overcome the strong man. So who do you need? You need Jesus. That's the case for Jesus. You need Jesus. He is the stronger man that will come and rescue you or rescue us or rescue me from the strong man. He is the stronger man. He's the one that Luke 11, 21 to 22, Luke 11, 21 to 22 was referring to as the stronger man that will come upon the strong man and clear the goods from the house of the strong man. That's our health, our peace, our joy. You can see that the moment in this text that he suffers, he appeared, and the Gadai demonic worshipped him. That was the end of the situation. You can find also in the stuff in Mark 3.27, Mark 3.27, 1 John 3.8, 1 John 3.8. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, the stronger man, please rescue me now 
from the enemy is too strong for me. In Jesus' name, God bless you.